When you compare two three-digit numbers and try to figure out which one is bigger, which of the digits is the most important to look at? The hundreds digit, of course. That's going to uh, have the most impact on the value of the number. Uh, in fact, we could say that the tens digit has 10 times as much impact as the units digit on the value of the number, and the hundreds digit has 10 times as much impact as the tens digit on the value of the number. So right off the bat, if we are trying to compare and figure out which of the two three-digit numbers is larger, we know that our focus should be on the hundreds digit. And only if the hundreds digit is the same for both numbers, then we'd look at the tens digit. And if only if the tens digit is also the same in both numbers, only then we would look at the units digit. So uh, that kind of reasoning is really going to help us on this question, and we're going to solve it right after this. So I think it's probably a good idea to start with statement two here, because statement two is only talking about R. We don't know anything about T, so statement two can't possibly be sufficient on its own. Go ahead and eliminate B and D. The first statement on its own tells us that the middle digit, the, the tens digit of R, is greater than each of the digits in T. But what about the hundreds digit of R? That's a much more important digit to know than the tens digit of R. The hundreds digit of R uh, could be one, or it could be nine, and that's going to make a huge difference on uh, the comparison of the two numbers. We can easily think of cases where uh, the tens digit of R is greater than each of the digits in T, but in one case R is greater than T, in the other case T is greater than R. When we combine the statements, now we know two things about the tens digit of R. We know that the tens digit of R is greater than each of the digits of T, and also the tens digit of R is smaller than the other two digits of R. So again, focusing our attention on the hundreds digit, the hundreds digit of R is greater than the tens digit of R, which is greater than each of the digits of T, well, that means that for sure the hundreds digit of R is greater than the hundreds digit of T. And that means that R is the bigger number. So when we combine these statements, we can answer the question, and the answer is C. If you like this approach, be sure to check out my book. It's all in there. What do you want me to talk about in my next video? Type it down in the comments below, and maybe I'll make a video just for you. Make sure you're subscribed, and click that little bell icon below so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time!